Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week eight of the Panther Rewind. I'm Coach B.J. Zalesnik, head football coach, Leroy High School, Leroy, Illinois. This week, the Panthers traveled to El Paso for a key Heart of Illinois matchup versus the El Paso Gridley Titans. Uh, both teams came in with good records on the season, and we knew it was going to be a tough ball game, and it definitely was that. Uh, we felt like that offensively we were going to be able to uh, – continue to do what we've done all year long, and we did have a good night on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, defensively, we definitely uh, struggled on this night, and the El Paso offense did quite well. And right there, the punt uh, was the only punt of the entire game, and that's it. And the El Paso offense took the field, and I believe they scored on every drive that they had the football in this contest. And it started off well for them. Their junior halfback, Muhammad Abid, had a big night. Their fullback only ran the ball a few times, but when he did, they were big carries. Definitely a very big and physical ball club up front on the offensive line. I thought they got off the ball really well. And our defense, uh, Made some plays throughout the night, but uh, we could never string a series of downs together to force the punt. Uh, gave up a lot of big plays on second and long and third and long, and that's a credit to their uh, execution in those situations. And there were some critical penalties that were called on some drives that extended drives for them as well. And it was just, it wasn't our night. It was a rough night um, through and through for our defense. But, like I said, our offense, I thought, had a nice ball game. I was very pleased. Again, time of possession just was not in our favor. It felt like it was probably about 60-40 EPG in time of possession. Uh, but when we did have the ball, uh, we did some nice things. This was our first scoring drive. Here's a really nice run uh, by Ethan Bruni. And able to punch it in for our first score of the game. And it went back and forth uh, for quite a while. Uh, they really didn't open the game up until middle of the third quarter. And early on, it looked like it was going to be tight throughout. They went back to work on offense. And again, uh, we did bottle up their big tailback from time to time. Their counterplay really hurt us in the game. We did not do a good job uh, of defending uh, the counter. And throughout the evening, our, our fundamental technique on the defensive side of the ball was was just not what it needs to be, unfortunately. So, and, you know, again, here's a nice play where we string the toss out and slow them down. But, again, fourth down, third down uh, conversions. Uh, they had a lot of success in the game. And here was a fourth down conversion for a touchdown. And that really, uh, again, bothered us all night long. A nice play on a two-point conversion to get the knockdown. Offense gets back on the field. Not a lot of time. They ate up uh, eight minutes of the second quarter with their drive. Uh, so we only had about four minutes to get down the field. But, again, the offense, great job. We moved. The sticks, we got down the field in a hurry. Some nice runs by sophomore halfback Shane Bruning. And uh, we were able to get down in the red zone pretty quick with the clock ticking. Then there was uh, a strange sequence of events that unfolded in the final four downs of the half. Um, the uh, officials wound the clock but did not blow, blow the ball into play. Well, we snapped the ball to spike the ball, and they flagged us for uh, legal procedure because we didn't wait for the ball to get set. Um, so that put us into a third and six situation. Right here you see us first down, and this is where the penalty occurred. As you can tell, there's no official over the football getting ready to blow the play in, but the clock was running. So uh, – not very good on their part there. And then we turn into uh, third and six and fourth and six. 
And this is the final play here. And nice job. Hats off to the EPG defense for stopping us on third and fourth down, keeping us out of the end zone. Beginning of the second half, their offense comes back out and more of the same. Big tailback running for good yards. The counter play again. Um, I believe uh, their young man got hurt on that play. I hope he's okay. Went down on his own. Nobody around him. And there's their big tailback again, bulldozing through our defense. Another big run on the counter play, working their way down the field. And he eventually ends up bouncing off the tackles and going in for a touchdown. And that puts him up two scores on the game, and they're able to keep that margin for the rest of the football game, they do extend it on an interception return later on, but we were unable to get too much closer. Nice fake punt here by uh, Ethan Bruning. Reads the defense and sees that he has it and takes off. Extends our drive. Nice pass play here on the bootleg. And a nice run by our fullback, get us in the end zone to tighten the score up a little bit at this point. Two-point conversion run by Bruning. El Paso comes back on defense or offense. And again, decent job of stringing out the big guy there on the run. Their fullback was able to get up through the middle on us again. Defensively, we were pretty soft up the middle the entire night. And those are just some things that we're going to have to work on. Their quarterback did a nice job of executing their play action. It's a pass play. Got them down in there, and then they eventually punch it in. Bootleg on the two-point conversion. Quarterback runs it. And gets it in. They're back on offense. They get the ball. More carries for them. This is a double reverse pass play. They end up throwing down. We get the knockdown. Uh, pass interference call comes in. Helps set up uh, another scoring play for them. Nice throw and catch. Our offense comes back on the field, and we get the interception return for a touchdown. Ends up putting them up. Four scores at this point. And two-point conversion run, again, on the counter, is successful. Offense came back out on the field and did a nice job marching down and getting another score on the board. But hats off to EPG. They played a good game. Uh, wasn't our night. And uh, we got to evaluate the film, make some changes, and get ready to go next week for senior night. And we'll see you then.